Due to growing data traffic, Ethernet speeds are increasing from 100 gig to 400 gig and beyond, mandating the need for high-speed PAM4 Phi technologies. Because of the growing data throughput and low latency requirements, more scalable and faster data center architectures are now being implemented, such as the leaf spine architecture. The new 56 gig and 112 gig Phi technologies need to support various channel types, including chip-to-chip, -chip, backplane, and copper or optical cable interfaces. The DesignWare 56G PAM4 Ethernet Phi IP offerings from Synopsys are designed to enable 400 gig hyperscale data centers and the new leaf spine architectures. They support PAM4 and NRZ signaling and are based on silicon proven architectures. The architecture also enables next generation 112 gig interfaces for 800 gig Ethernet applications. Now let's go through a series of short videos demonstrating the latest silicon results of Synopsys DesignWare 56 gig Ethernet Phi IP. Let's begin with a demonstration of the 56 gig Ethernet Phi transmitter in both PAM4 and NRZ modes. The test board is connected to a Keysight 50 GHz sampling oscilloscope. It consists of a 56G Phi test chip in the silver 70 GHz socket and is connected through short cables to the Keysight oscilloscope. Here is the PAM4 transmitter eye at 53.1 gigabits per second Ethernet data rate. Now let's refresh the capture to show the PAM4 eye in real time. You can clearly see three high signal quality PAM4 eyes. There is good symmetry between the top and bottom eyes, demonstrating the good linearity of the TX output driver. The PAM4 eye level separation mismatch ratio, or RLM, is well above the 802.3D specification requirement of 0.95. The eye diagram also exhibits good horizontal opening, a testament to the low output jitter of this transmitter. Now let's change the transmitter output waveform to a 10.3 gigabits per second NRZ pattern. This will exercise the second low jitter LC PLL. Once again, the eyes have very good horizontal and vertical eye openings, demonstrating the transmitter's high bandwidth and low jitter. The 56 gig transmitter has been characterized across voltage and temperature corners. The synopsis characterization report indicates each PAM4 and NRZ transmitter specification parameter has been measured. All measurements are within specification limits. The signal to noise and distortion ratio is exceeding the 32.5 dB specification limit, and the RMS jitter is well below the PAM specification limit of 23 milli UI. Synopsys has also been working with test equipment vendors like Keysight to run the PAM DesignWare 56 gig Ethernet Phi through electrical compliance test suites. Here you can see a passing test result for the 802.3 CD PAM transmitter electrical compliance suite. Synopsys is the first Phi IP vendor to publicly demonstrate this result. Now let's switch to receiver performance metrics like jitter and interference tolerance. This is our receiver performance test bench consisting of a Jaybird on the top left supplying a test signal to a transmitter replica channel on the lower left, then through a Wild River ISI 25 inch PCB channel in the middle, then to the receiver device under test on the right. The total channel loss is more than 30 dB from test point 0 to test point 5, which is what is required by the 802.3 CD Jitter Tolerance, or JTOL, and ITOL test 2 procedures. The 802.3 CD Jitter Tolerance Spec Compliance Mask is shown in black. Sinusoidal jitter, or SJ, is injected on the test signal at different frequencies and swept amplitudes. Each test point is shown in green, and the amplitude is swept up until the target bit error rate is achieved. The resulting jitter tolerance performance curve is well above the spec compliance mask across all frequencies of injected sinusoidal jitter. The interference tolerance test stresses the receiver in the presence of noise or crosstalk and far exceeds the specification limits. Now let's test the combined performance of the 56 gig transmitter and receiver in loopback. We'll start with 53.1 gigabits per second PAM4 transmission over a 40 dB loss channel die pad to die pad. On the left is the Ethernet 56 gig Phi test board and its transmitter and receiver ports are connected to a 31 inch channel on the Wild River ISI board. The 56 gig Ethernet test board evaluation platform also includes a graphical user interface for controlling the Phi and accessing in Phi diagnostic and performance metrics. Diagnostic plots like histograms of the analog front end or DFE outputs are seen at the top in black. The upper bar plot is the measured bit error rate. For this 40 dB loss channel, the analog front end output histogram and sample plots are completely closed, but the decision feedback equalizer histogram and sample plots indicate open PAM4 eyes. 
the achieved bit error rate far exceeds BER targets. The 56 gig receiver diagnostic tool set of the GUI also includes the ability to construct a 2DI at various points along the receive signal path. Even with 40 dB of channel loss, the 56 gig receiver is capable of producing open PAM4 eyes. The same transmitter to receiver loopback test is now performed over a 25 inch channel producing a total of 35 dB loss die pad to die pad. As shown in the DesignWare 56 gig Ethernet 5 GUI, the bit error rate exceeds BER targets. And the accompanying 2D receiver DFE output eye diagram has three open PAM4 eyes. Let's switch the transmitter now to 26.5 gigabits per second NRZ transmission across that same channel. After reinitiating captures on the DesignWare 56 gig Ethernet 5 GUI, you can see the histograms change from four to two peaks, characteristic of NRZ signaling. The analog front end alone is capable of opening up the eye diagram, as shown with the leftmost pair of plots. The achieved bit error rate far exceeds BER targets. Continuing on with short channels, we now connect the DesignWare 56 gig Ethernet Phi in loopback across a 10-inch channel, producing a total of 20 dB loss, die pad to die pad. The analog front end histogram and sample plots are closed but show prominent peaks representative of PAM4 transmission. After applying DSP, the decision feedback equalizer output eyes are open and the bit error rate far exceeds BER targets. Here is a 26.5 gigabits per second NRZ loopback test across that same 20 dB loss channel. Bit error rates exceed BER targets for the shorter loss case as well. Now let's switch from PCB to cabled loopback channels. This is a loopback test across 5 meters of SFP28 cable with 25 dB loss. You can see the SMP to SFP28 breakout boxes on the left and 5 meters of SFP28 cable coiled on top of the Jaybird for this test. As seen on the DesignWare 56 gig Ethernet Phi GUI, the 53.1 gigabits per second PAM4 eyes are open and the achieved bit error rate far exceeds BER targets. Synopsys offers a complete 56 gig Ethernet IP solution consisting of Phi, Mac, and PCS. The Phi is available in advanced process technologies from 16 nanometer to 7 nanometer FinFET. Support backplane, copper cables, and optical PAM4 Ethernet links. Supports all OIF and IEEE channel types and is backward compatible with NRZ data rates. And delivers high performance up to 35 dB at 14 gigahertz PAM4 Nyquist. The PCS is compliant with IEEE 802.3 and 25 gig, 50 gig consortium specifications. The configurable Mac supports Mac, DMA, and AXI configurations. We invite you to contact us for your high-speed Ethernet IP needs. Thank you for watching.